Heya and welcome to Daniel's Tips. We're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel. And today we are painting this praying mantis. Praying mantis. So let's pray on into this and paint this praying mantis. As I start out, I use a quick gestural technique where I block in the praying mantis here. And I slowly fix up the positioning of where its head is sitting based on the image where it actually is sitting. And I also have the leaves it actually is sitting on there. Um, so I'm working on that, trying to fix that up, the positioning here. Um, that was a little bit of a challenge to try and get it in the correct position and um, the correct proportions as well. I still think um, it needed a little bit more time developing and you can see I still develop it a little bit longer um, but I still even with the kind of final painting that I ended up with I still feel like maybe I could have spent a little bit longer on the development stage here to get it right but I use my blocking method then I use a drawing method on top um, and then from there I've found something I'm I'm quite happy with and I keep moving forwards on that um but yeah getting that initial drawing right the initial sketch the um overall um positioning everything correct first um is relatively important once you've got all that down then um it becomes easier just to to paint it up um but because, you know, 90 minutes, you're a bit of a rut sometimes, you know, you don't want to be left with not much work within 90 minutes. Um, so you try your best to you know, get as much done <laughs> and you don't slow down all the time. Where it is actually better to slow down and just take, you know, take your time, get it right get it the best you can start leveling up you know start to get that drawing right i did the best that i could at the time um i said 90 minutes you know you, you kind of focus in what you want to achieve you know i want to achieve this as a painting um and yeah there's a lot to do <laughs> the colors trying to get the proportion to right um then you know from there i go into shading so once you got the initial drawing right um this little sketch you know the body shapes um i do have a lot of videos on my channel about animals and drawing animals um, and different poses and things like that and I do have a few bugs here and there so you know feel free to go check those out but um, you know once you've got a good drawing then it's shading you know shading um, tonal values and coloring um, I do a quick kind of gray scale in here and then I'm jumping straight to color um, now this is because, you know, I usually go kind of a grayscale painting, and then from there I do colour. Um, but here I'm trying to cut back a, a little bit just to, you know, do things a little differently and trying to get back to just fully on colouring it um, before grayscale it kind of a thing. Um, just to, to play around, to learn a little bit, to do something a little bit different. Um, I do that every now and again, I change things up, I don't always paint everything the same way um, every time. Um, you know, there's a techniques, obviously using tonal value first and getting that right is, you know, really important. Um, but straight jumping straight to color as well can be interesting and you can learn a lot from that too um so you know w always doing the same method you'll always kind of hit the same um goals and hit the same um kind of place and you yeah you won't really learn too much um, more if you do things differently every time you change things up every now and again, you, you know, 
um, who even doing this illustration, this 90 minute illustration, um, is something I, I don't think I've done too much lately, I've done a few backgrounds, um, going by a few weeks I've been doing backgrounds and things, I haven't really done bug close-ups like this in a while, um, so it's something different I haven't really done too much, it's all green, um, if you notice the actual image is actually all green pretty much, there's a bit of yellow there, a bit of orange, there's some purples and then a bit of different colours in there, but mainly the image is green, um, so actually you could get away with doing a full tonal value and just um, overlaying um, some green and you might get away with it, you know, and if you overlay it in the right way, color layer, you know, kind of a thing, you could get away with it, possibly. <laughs> um, also here, I try to do a, um, a grayscale, a scale, <laughs> a, um, I can't remember what they're called, but, uh, the gradient, I try to do like a gradient map thing, um, but I don't fully know how to do that whole circle gradient thing, and I don't, I don't have the time, you know, within that 90 minutes, I don't have the time to do all the research for that, to try and figure out how to do it, um, so I just do it as a painting version, <laughs> um, I just paint it in very quickly, very vaguely, the best I can, um, but yeah, I could have used a gradient map to achieve that, and if you are good with gradient maps, you know how they work and all those things, you could achieve that really well. But I try my best to, to just create it on my own, um, and now that can be really helpful too, to rather than rely on, say, brushes or gradient maps or um, gradients, um, layers and just painting it yourself can be uh can teach you a lot can um, help you a lot that's why you know if you do traditional media you don't have all these layers you don't have control z you don't have um a lot of these things um that can create shortcuts that can um you know so you can learn a lot from trying to do it yourself you know, even if you try it first and then you use all those color layers, there's nothing wrong with using all those layers and all those things to achieve a certain um, thing in the result um, in your image. Um, but, you know, doing it manually or doing it, um, you know, doing it in a way, <laughs> yeah, manually, it can teach you a lot more than just doing it um, analogly, you know, <laughs> by using, you know, cheap tricks and things, and sometimes the cheap tricks and things that you've got, um, sometimes they do look very cheap and very quick and they don't look that great, you know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they work really well, sometimes it's just knowing when to use them and how to use them, like, for instance, I use, um, gouache and blur quite a bit, and, um, it's just knowing, you know, I used to always just use it in the background, that was it, um, but now I've played around with it, um, I used blurry brushes to try and achieve the same effect, um, using it as a smart layer to affect only a certain area, so I've played around and it, now it works into my paintings way better than it did back when it was just, I'll oh, do this cheap trick, it'll look like a background <laughs> it'll look like it's in the distance you know there's other other things that you can um play around with and you learn a lot more just by doing these um quick interesting things and here again you can see i'm getting a bit annoyed with that uh, trying to get that um leg right because it's you know it's it's on a 90 degree angle pretty much and you see I use kind of a blocking method to re-block in that um, leg, um, and I repaint it, um, and that can be useful, you know, it's actually good just to 
eraser back or something and repaint it. Um, yeah, you know, because it's better than trying to work with something that it is not working. You know, it's better to erase it, get rid of it, and redraw it. Um, now, you know, I've gotten way further in this painting. <laughs> I wouldn't want to kind of redraw it. I've just kind of finished it here. I wouldn't want to redraw it at this stage, but, um, you know, it's only been 90 minutes. If I wanted to achieve something better than this, I think I would give it another 90 minutes go and do it again. Um, but I've taken what I've taken out of this image from painting this image and I've enjoyed creating it. I think I did an okay job. I've learned some stuff. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed watching me paint this and you've taken something out of this. So feel free to like, share, subscribe, keep drawing, keep creating, and see you in the next video.